Hello everyone, finally it's happening, truth is out. INEC opens up to Nigerians. Speak on denying Labour Party assets to election material copies. Interesting. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has addressed accusations of denying the Labour Party assets to certify true copies of election materials used in the state of Seco governorship election on November 11. Earlier, Niger News reported that Labour Party supporters protested at the INEC headquarters in Uweri alleging denial of assets to election materials. Politicians expressed the satisfactions with the purported denial of assets to document from the November 11 governorship pool. Senator Atan Achuno, the Labour Party candidate in the election, claimed that INEC refused to provide certified true copies of the election materials. In response to those allegations, INEC released a statement on its official handle clarifying that it engaged in active correspondence with the Labour Party. The statement revealed that the Commission was in the process of assembling the necessary documents to determine the cost of certification enabling payments to be made. The management of the commission in Imo State acknowledges the statement from Labour Party clarifying that INEC has not refused to issue certified copies of election materials. INEC received the Labour Party's application for document certification and actively corresponded with them. The legal departments will estimate the cost of clarifying the the 33 items requested by the Labour Party, the INEC statement read. The Commission emphasized its commitment to underscoring uh, understanding parties' rights to request certified true copies of documents, assuring that it will diligently work to fulfill such requests. The statement concluded by stating that INEC was in the process of gathering the necessary documents to determine the cost, ensuring timely insurance upon payment. In summary, INEC countered allegations of denial, citing ongoing communication with the Labour Party and the proactive steps being taken to estimate the cost for certification, maintaining its commitment to fulfilling legitimate requests. You see, INEC always in, in one trouble or the other because this is where they have placed themselves to be. It's very, very shameful. It's very, very shameful. I know that even the next generation to come will not forget this INEC chairman in a hurry. You understand? Why is it that we don't do election in Nigeria? Do it freely and live. Election in Nigeria must. Election in Nigeria must take another, another dimension whereby after election, you must go to court. INEC is always there in the court, you know, uh, to testify. What, what, what is all this? It's really very shameful. It's really very shameful that this is where we have found ourselves today. Every other day, INEC going to the court to testify because they failed. No matter how we see this, Nigerian INEC, Nigerian INEC, they don't turn to something else. That is, that is the truth. Nigerian INEC has turned to something else. And if this is not contained in, in, on time, Nigerians will suffer this for a very long time. For the fact that the court did not even sanction INEC for all this while and when they decreed the water, it don't finish with this. They have the right 
to determine who wins the election, not the electorate. Not them. They talk who they win the election. Then, when they go court, the court go court, the, 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 the we now stamp it for them. This is really very, very unfair. You understand? Every other day, with the judge matter, I neck, they go, they testify. In fact, it is also so very, very shameful. See what is happening in Canon State. Is that not shameful? What is happening in Plateau State? Is that not shameful? I don't know what this country is turning into. For how long are you going to be de defending yourself for every movement you have made? You keep on defending yourself. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. No, no matter how we see this coming. Hmm. Honestly, I don't even know what to say again because every day things are getting bad. So bad. Our high neck has taken another dimension. The judiciary has taken another dimension. We never even talk about the police. The November election, we were even thinking that, Nigerians were thinking that with what happened in February and March, I need to go at least do better. But that one safe, it can't turn worse. May God have mercy. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.